Happy Sunday, guys. So today we're actually gonna take these guys off. I'm gonna put new bushings in the bars. I'll show you guys why in a minute. And then we're gonna take these forks that don't look too bad. They're just kind of dull. And we're gonna change them. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm taking off all the bolts so that I can uh, take off the, uh, the spotlight first. I'm gonna cover the fender so I don't have to worry about the fender getting damaged. You already know what that's like, right? So I'm taking these two bolts off the top, off the top of the forks. So the way you can actually do this too, guys, is you loosen up the top bolts and the side bolts and these actually just lift right off like this right but i need to take this off so that i can see what i need to unplug you have two bolts on the side of the interfering you have two down here let me show you guys really quick so you have those bolts there there's one on each side and then you have these two that are down there and they actually connect to the bottom of the lower fairing this chrome piece right here. So you can actually take that all off at, as one piece, but I don't like doing that. I like to separate everything all together. And then you take the three top bolts here, one, two, three, those two on the sides and those two on the bottoms and the outer fairing comes right off. So those down there on the bottom are three sixteenths. And they come off pretty easy. So I recommend that you take these bottom ones off first because what happens if you take the three top ones off here and then the two on the, on the sides of the speakers or just below the speakers, your fairing's gonna fall on you and you don't wanna do that. Fairing's pretty loose right now other than these guys here. I'll just take this one out. And the minute I take the one on the other side out, the fairing is going to fall. Dang. So I'd rather let the bolt fall than the fairing, of course. So now I'm going to remove these. And kind of just lift up on the bottom. There we go. Let those go down like that. Pick this up. Unplug your lights. There we go. Put this in a nice safe place. Take these lights, unplug them. Unplug these guys. Put these guys in a nice safe place. Right. This is off. Make sure you always know where your bolts are. And from this point, I can actually take off the uh, the forks was what I intend to do, but I gotta be able to get to them from the front as well. I gotta take the front wheel and the front fender off. So that's probably what I'll do now. It'll give me a lot more room. So let's take the calipers off. So if you feel like they're gonna round off, stop immediately and just grab the right size. You don't want to use the wrong size on these guys because they will want to round out on you. And I'm feeling a little off today, guys, so just bear with me, please. So those have about 35 pounds of torque on them. So with 35 pounds of torque, you want to uh, I'm gonna just plug this in here. Let's bring this down since I'm working down there now. So with 35 pounds of torque, you want to get some leverage. Once you break them, you can get a smaller ratchet. Make, make your life a little bit easier. You want to hang on to your caliper. Because the minute you take this last one out, 
it will fall. Hang that over that like that, but make sure that it's not going to fall. Go to the other side, take that caliper off. All right, so I already took the bolt off. The bolt is a, this guy right here on this bike is a 15 16 and it should be that way all the way up to 2016. And these are half inch bolts here. I think I've said that before. So the wheel's in the air right now, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my foot under it. You know what, I might even put a board under it. So I got a dead blow hammer, and I have the board underneath the tire right now. And you wanna make sure you get your spacer and look at which direction it's facing, and this one's actually facing out. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take these half inch on the inside so I can pull the fender up and I don't have to really fight with the tire right now since I got the bike strapped where I want it. So I have a speed wrench right now, loosening up these guys all the way, get the other side. So much easier if you don't have the wheel in the way, but unfortunately, I don't want to raise the bike up, so I'm just doing what I can right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the front one in on that side, and then I'm going to leave the rear one in on this side. Like I said, they're not too hard. So much easier with the wrench in here, a speed wrench than a ratchet. I'm gonna grab it because the back one's almost off. All right. I can't wait to get a lift, guys. It's gonna be so much, so much easier for me when I get a lift. I'm really hoping to get one soon. Okay, there we go. way I am gonna have to take the bars off and I'll show you guys why right now so let's finish taking the top stuff off really quick so guys after you take your ignition off use a 7 8 wrench to take this off then you take these other pieces off like so and then that piece comes off your indicator and then these on this bike are 5 sixteenths. So you take those 5 sixteenths bolts off and then this comes off and then you just unplug this. So that's what I'm going to do next. It's always best to uh, cover your tank too. I mean, you don't want to scratch your tank or anything. I got a bad habit of not doing it. Once you loosen these side ones off for the uh, ignition cover, these are real easy to come out. I wanted to show you guys about the bars. All right, and then you want to unplug this guy. Come on, baby. These are normally hard to unplug. There we go. And then this guy comes out. <clears throat> this is why, let me show you the bars. Can you see that movement? I mean, it's not real bad, but it's the bushings. And I don't like that. So I'm going to uh, fix them. Now I can actually turn this. I actually want to lift this. Like so. And that's going to give me, is that going to give me enough? That'll give me enough right there to be able to uh, get the, uh, the bars out. 
So you take these side bolts off of here, right? The ones that this mounts to, your outer fairing, and uh, you just lift that up and you can shift it forward. I was planning on taking these out, but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna leave them in and then I'm just gonna replace the rubbers here and the rubbers underneath. And then I'm gonna put those bolts back on and then I'm gonna torque them. Because a lot of times if you have two people, you can have one person hold the bars and then you can put these down on the bottom and torque them. But I'd rather have them on when I torque them anyway. So I'm gonna give it a try because I don't have help right now. So I'm gonna give it a try. So what I've decided to do guys is I'm gonna actually take the bars off and lay them on the tank, so to speak, if I can. So I have the bars marked already. So guys, the easiest way to uh, change the bushings on here, right here, under here, is you lock your wheel all the way to the left and you can actually get to this bolt. And then to get to the other side, you lock it. Well, it doesn't lock facing all the way to the right, but you guys get what I'm trying to say. So this was basically in there. I'm probably gonna reuse these. I have a new kit right here. Came with new bolts, new washers, and the bushings. I don't know, I might use this one. This one's Allen. I prefer that, but we'll, uh, we'll figure it out what we're gonna do. Okay, so now that I got those bolts off and the tops are off there, these guys here, now I'm going to take the forks off. So right now, the only thing holding the fork, you can't see it on that side. There it is right there, you see that? It's a 5 eighths. Take that off and the fork slide right out. I already took the four caps off. So I'm loosening up that 5 eighths, pulling it back. Ugh. Now that once you broke it, you can get a smaller socket. <sighs> Dang, that hurt. I guess that's why they call this knuckle, knuckle busting work, huh? So you can see the heads on them right here. You see these heads? These are the two heads and these are the bolts that I'm loosening up. These are the pinch bolts on the bottom. And to take the cans off, you have these 3 8 bolts right here. There's one in the front and one in the very back. They should already be coming out. is and this one's out so i went and got the correct uh bushings yesterday from oakland harley these are the ones that they sent me and i'll show you guys how these ones are thicker i think they're for like a dyna or something you got to be careful ordering stuff online man i went through amazon for the first order and they sent me these and then for the second order i went through ebay and then they sent me the same kit but a complete kit which isn't made for these bikes it's made for something else i believe dinas so these are the correct ones i'll show you the difference so can you see the difference in the two <clears throat> the one on the left is much much thinner you could see the difference these were not going to go in at all so let's get ready to put these guys on so they're actually going to go in this top hole right here. You guys could probably barely see that. Let me see if I can get the light back here. So we're going to use new, uh, the new washers, the new cover washers, and these guys. So basically, these guys just go in like this. But we're going to have to use the, the sleeves, the inner sleeves from the uh, old bushings. So let me make sure that I do have the old sleeves. Here's one right here. So what I'm doing is, here's the new inner sleeve, the new washer, and the bolt. And then this guy squeezes on top, like so. You push that in, then you get the new washer, and then you put the riser on there. Make sure you put the riser on the right way, too. Get this one in there. And there's also a ground wire down here that you want to make sure you get in as well on the bottom bolt man those are pretty tight so i think the best way to do it is get the rubbers in first and then try to get that inner sleeve put on there all right let's get the uh let's get the rubbers in there first And if you can get something under there that's flush and flat, 
you can actually push it in. All right. Let's get a little bit of, uh, just a little bit of oil and put it on the outsides of these guys. Okay, that went in really easy. Then this. There we go. So what I did was I put the top on without the washer and I'm actually screwing the center pin, the one that goes in between the bushings and the bolt, I'm pushing it down with, uh, with the bolt and I'm holding the top. All right, so that one's on. So now we're gonna screw the bolt off. And it, you know, this is, this is much, much easier if you have two people, but you don't always have two people. So you have to, you have to do what you got to do. You know what I mean? It's almost off guys. Almost off. All right, there we go. So now let's put the new top washer on there. And then we'll uh, get this baby in there. So what I'm doing is I'm turning the top and the bottom at the same time. All right. Now, you know what? Let's put the bar back in there on that one side. There we go. Now I could turn the bottom, but you know what? I got to get this bolt tightened up as good as I can. We'll bring the bars down just to tighten it up. And then we'll pull the bars off. To check to see what the torque is actually on these guys. All right, we got one on, guys. We got one on. Good job. This is going to be the fun side. So, let me get the camera and move it over for you guys. So, I'm going to try to get that one out really quick. You just got to dig a screwdriver on the very bottom and pry that girl down like so. Now they will rip on you because they're old. Can you guys see how they get rounded off? These were the original ones and these are the, the new polyurethane. That's going in the trash. And it's kind of tight down here guys, but you can get them out. It just takes a little bit of, a little bit of work. And here we go. There's the old one and the sleeve. And as you guys know, I'm gonna need to reuse this sleeve. And the sleeves fit inside the newer ones a lot tighter. If you don't put a little bit of oil or something on there, good luck trying to get them in. Get this baby pushed in the top. Okay. Get that one pushed in the bottom. All right. Now you wanna Get this sleeve and lube this sleeve up really, really good. Like I said, they fit in there really snug, man. All right, let's get the old bolt with the new washer. And try to get this baby underneath there and push it up. Okay. Yep, that'll work. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the uh, riser like so get this there we go now I'm gonna use my wrench to bring this uh, this thing down okay so now I'm gonna try to get the bars on there that's gonna be fun because this damn fairing is not wanting to cooperate. There we go. Anyways, I need to get these bars 
on here. So I need to spin this thing like that. And then, all right, that's so much easier now. So once we get these bars lined up again, guys, we get them torqued. I believe it's 20 pounds, 15 or 20 pounds on these guys. And then we'll be able to uh, Okay guys, so <clears throat> I'm putting a Loctite on the, uh, the clamp bolts. And these clamp bolts go from anywhere from 16 to 20 pounds. Now blue Loctite dries a little bit slower than the red. Red's for like high strength. You wanna make sure that you got the clamps lined up perfectly and make sure that you got an even amount with the front one and the back one. Yep, I do. You want to make sure that you got the bars absolutely straight too. I get the back ones locked down first, and then I get the front ones locked down. That way you get an even fitting on there. Fitment. Let me go out here and get a good view at and see what they look like. Yeah, they look really good. Some books go 15 to 20 or 16 to 20. So I'm gonna go 20 pounds on this. I'm gonna go this one. I'm gonna go the top. Go this one. So now there's a reason why I did this on the top because these risers churn with the bottom bolts and I haven't completely tightened those down there. But the bolt that goes through the bushings, the riser bushings on the bottom, those go 30 to 40 pounds. So I'm probably gonna go 40 on those. And uh, now I can actually get this back on there because those are nice and torqued. There we go. So you guys can see now. That's in there. That's all nice and done. So that's pretty much how it's gonna sit. The bars are nice and tight. And so now I just gotta clean these up a little bit. They got a little bit of rust in them. But I gotta leave this off because I'm gonna work on the forks now. Let me torque the bottoms of those and uh, I'll get you guys back on the stand. All right, guys, I took the right side out so I can uh, put some Loctite on it and then get it back in there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tighten it up with the ratchet and then I'll get the, uh, I'll get the uh, torque wrench on it. All right. I'm gonna go 35, guys, because I think 40s might be a little too much. We'll see. close all right it calls for 30 to 40 and i believe i did uh like 36 37 ish i believe that's really good let me check it out really quick <laughs> those bars are tight man they're perfect okay guys so i'm taking the left side out now because i'm going to put loctite on it put the washer on there the ground wire is already on there. We have the riser lined up, so it should go in perfectly, and it is. Ah, there we go. All right. Now there's something else that I didn't want him to do. So this bracket right here, that bracket right there, it was bent. When I got the bike, I straightened it out as best I could, but because of that bracket, the radio is sitting a little bit cockeyed. So I'm gonna see if I can fix that real quick. Okay guys, when I got the bike, this 
left front bracket was uh, a little twisted. I straightened it out. I don't see much difference in the two. Just a little, little bit of difference. So I'm gonna try this one and see if that actually straightens out the radio a little bit better. So let's get this girl back in there. All right, so we're gonna get this, this top one in and then we're gonna work our way down. Leaving it kind of loose, you know, not completely tight because I wanna make sure that I, uh, Move it around and maneuver it. So as long as we got that guy in there, now it's maneuver time. So that goes like that. And that can go like that. All right, guys, so I put this new bracket in. I took the old one out and uh, got everything lined up. I had to loosen everything on the, on the inner fairing to get it all lined up. But uh, I was pretty impressed because this bracket was was new and not bent and the radio came out perfectly straight which is exactly what i wanted the other one was just a little bent but uh this one came out really really good so i'm excited and the queen is home hi queen Bye. okay guys so i got this new bracket in which left the stereo really, really straight. I just gotta figure out these wires, get the wires all connected again, but I'm gonna leave that like that for now. I got the riser bushings in. Those were torqued like 36 pounds. And then these guys up here, those guys down there were uh, 16 to 20. I did 20 on them and the bars are, man, they're perfect. I'm very, very happy with everything, the way it sits, the way everything came out. I just got to wipe it down. And so I'm going to leave the cluster off on the bottom because I need to get to those. I need to bore those out with some SOS really quick. I'm not going to do that today. I'm just wrapping it up right now and uh, take the, the cowbells off so I can put the new chrome ones on there. And then uh, I'm going to be putting the new forks in and uh, that's pretty much it. So everything's uh, looking really, really good. So I'm going to get these cowbells off really, really quick and then I'm gonna call it a night.